guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you want to see all of our new inventory every week, please hit that subscribe button. We get new cars in daily. Hit the like button. Appreciate you checking us out. Let's go. Chris. As long as you don't put it on the media. Well, that's why I'm recording it. Okay. I won't put you on, but I'm going to put the cars on. That's fine. Okay. Dale, nice to Chris. I want to get the cars on and kind of, and then you could talk in the background, give me your story about the cars and stuff, because you know more about the cars than I do. Yeah, I don't want my face on. I won't put your face on it, okay? They're in here. Oh, they're in here. You got so many garages around. Yep. Okay. Okay. Which one do you want to start with? Whatever you want to start. Let's we'll start with the cyclone. You got lights? You put on the light. Yeah. Talk to me about the cyclone. 71 cyclone, I bought it from the original owner. It's one of 444 made. I got a murder report on it. Okay. It's a Cleveland automatic with air, power disc brakes, power steering. Yeah. So it's you. Real, really nice car. So how'd you get it back from the original owner? I saw it advertised. I bought it down in uh, Georgia. Okay. The interior is all original. How about paint? The paint, the top, the the hood, the roof, and the trunk is original. The sides have been repainted. Okay. It had a lot of a lot of little door dings in it. The guy worked for the government in Georgia. The guy was from Germany. Little short guy, about five foot. You'll see his name on the paperwork. I got all the paperwork to this car. Well, where's that paperwork at? You have it? Right here. You don't see these a whole lot. Mm -mm. And it's a 71, has a big gun sight. There's the market report on the car. It's one of 24 from the DSO. There's the title of the car in my name. Here's the original deal window sticker. This is the original book here. And there's a manual. 4200, well. His name was Claus Pole. That's the receipt when he bought it. Warranty cards. Some receipts where you have stuff done at the dealer. This is nice to have. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So, power steering car, power front disc brakes, air conditioned manual. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Air conditioned manual. Do a manual. That's how okay. they wrote them. AM, radio, tint glass. Mm hmm. Hook caps. Yeah, everything here should be the same. Yeah. Which normally these don't, you don't have these. Mm hmm. What rear end is it, do you know? A 325. Okay. What I, what, what I know. Yeah, it's a 325. 325. Mm hmm. And this is the original pamphlet and all. Fling Ford, the Grange, Georgia. That's cool. Mm hmm. You know if the AC works? No, it doesn't. Okay. Did you go through it at all and see what it was? I never did. Okay. And the radio doesn't play either. I've never looked into it. You got a light, Chris? What do I do? Come up here. Let's climb on it and see what we got. Get you a piece of cardboard if you want. Nah, I'm good on the floor. It's clean underneath. Cold out today, isn't it? It's oh, freezing it's up. Bit. It's been snowing up here in the morning. Really? Yeah, today's kind of a busy day because my dog had to take her to get her fixed. I had him fixed a few weeks ago. Okay. We were supposed to be here early, but yeah. the GPS originally said you were 45 minutes away. Oh, we, yeah. we typed it in today, it's two and a half hours. Uh, so I don't know if it was 
because it put us it put us on back roads and then we got behind two Penske trucks. Oh really? So now we were we couldn't go fast, we had to go, you know, yeah, the forty interior, miles the an hour. The interior is really nice all original, you know? Yeah, the car looks dash, no cracks in the dash, the headliner's nice. The difference between the 70s and 71s is the mirrors are put back farther on the door, mm -hmm. on the trinos, like six inches because people complain they were up here. And the 70s have a vent right here on the hood and the 71s did not. Mm -hmm. Oh, this car looks mostly original. I Honestly, I can't even tell that was painted on the side. So, yeah, I mean, you see a, a really good, a really job, good job. A couple little flaws, but they matched the paint real good. Yeah, they did. It's got a Holly on it instead of the original carburetor. Uh, I was really upset when I got the car back that had, it's got a Holly on it uh, instead of a Ford Motorcraft. Trying to find that. It would have been nice to have the original one. But. Yeah, you can find it. And, and, and they did, they put a power steering pump on it. They put all new hoses. They had this off. I don't know if they sent the radiator out, but they didn't use the right bolts here, which I was upset about too. But it, other than that, these here, these break on these real easy. Mm -hmm. This one's, because pop metal, Yeah. The, this one's perfect. Perfect. Okay. If you see these cars, they're all they're fixed, cracked. fixed right here. They've yeah. all been repaired. Yep. Yep, and the hood's not rusted. A lot of them you'll see the hood will be all rusted up in here. They'll be repaired. Look how nice this one is. The Georgia car. Yeah, of course. Georgia cars are always Georgia Florida cars. Yeah. And, and it runs and drives now. I put these mags on it, but I have the original mags. I mean, uh, hubcaps yeah. and uh, trim rings. I think I sent you pictures. I did. They have we they have wheels uh, tires on them. Or no? I have the original tires out here. This is one of them. I brought one up from down to the basement. This is the original rim here and the tire that I got. Yeah. And these caps were on it when I bought it. I go back to the original. Yeah. You know, once transport. I got all four of those. Okay. And the spare's the same one. You'll be able to put them in the car? Yeah, I can put them on the car if you want. Yeah, on the car, in the car, it's up to you. I can put them on the car. Yeah, I'll put the just put the hubcaps on the uh, in the inside. You know what I mean? Don't put the hubcaps on because I don't want them falling off. Okay. Yeah, I can put them in the trunk. Um, would you agree with that, Chris? I would. For what it is, yes. I'm not a fan of these wheels. Yeah, these are Americans. The back, the back ones are nicer. Pretty wide, huh? Yeah, they're beefy. Yeah, I got big ones on the back. I mean, it makes it sit real nice, mm -hmm. but I like that original look. I feel like this car, because it's, it's a lot of it's original. It's an AC, it's got a nice Marty report on it, good ownership. Here's what it looked like when I bought it. Yeah. No, I like those wheels way better. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Put a nice polish on this car. There it is in the, in the, where I bought it in New York, how it looked. Yeah. That's with those hubcaps. Yeah, I like the I like the hubcaps yeah, those and the wheels. Look better. Yeah. yeah, I'll put those on. Okay. Now let's move on to the Mustang. Okay, the Mustang. Is this a '68? Seven. '67. Okay. Uh, I don't have any paperwork with the Mustang yeah. now. The people, I'm going to call them again. They said they had some stuff they thought that they weren't possible. And, uh, Here's the Marty on it. Um, that's not it. One of 2,932 made. I just sold one. Four speed coupes. And this is okay. a non GT. This car is very rare. I know. I, just, I literally just sold yeah. one. Well, but mine's a GT. GT. Yeah. Most of them are GTs. And, uh, yeah, it's one. This one's got the two serial numbers. No, it's numbers. the Cyclone. The two serial numbers like the McCutcheon yeah. cars had. Yeah, it is. Oh, did I give you the wrong one? Sorry, that's my fault. Yeah, four speed. And uh, it's got the buck tag on it still. Yeah, one of 290. 
and uh, the I wish they didn't paint it. The peep, here's the color it was right here. It was frost turquoise, which is a very rare color. Yes, yeah, but they didn't like it, so they painted it 67 night miss blue. When I was 16, this is what I took my driver test on at 289 on an really? color black vinyl top of a blue car. Yeah. So this one came out of our area, Philadelphia. Yeah, it's so new in Allentown. Yeah. You know what's cool about this? It's the bench seat. Oh, what's cool. And it does have marks on it, like yeah, I said, straight. Right. Oh, see, I see. It's got a little dent right there on the corner. Yeah. Uh, let me get in the garage. What happened? They broke it. They pulled it easy. This you don't see a lot. You don't see this bench seat a lot. I've, I've seen one other one. The Dominus show 90,000 miles. Yeah. I've only seen one other one with the bench seat. Mm -hmm. I had a Cougar of the bench seat a few years ago. Um, I don't see any rust on it. A lot of it's been replaced. It's clean underneath. Non-power steering, manual brakes. It's a manual pump, manual pump. Yeah. Driver quality, seems like to me. It's got some chips on, scratches, but it's a pretty rare car, 390, big block. With the bench seat. Makes With the bench it, seat, pretty rare too. 67, guys. So it's a, it's a rare one. So hopefully we can make a deal on this car, because I like these Mustangs, they're awesome. I love buying 390s. I don't buy them a lot when I find them. You get a lot of rust in here. A little, little bubble right there. Turn signals don't work, right? They did work, but they went bad. I don't know what happened. Yeah, heat works, everything. Radio sounds good. I think it's the original parking in the car. This is cool. Very comfortable. It's cold nature. If you cut it off and pump it once, the fast idle will get back on again. Can we cut it off and turn it back on? Get the, get the idle pump idle. It once. Pump it once. And then start it. Nope. It's got the original car finally on it. This window is kind of hard going up and down. All good. Thank you. 
It's got the 390 going for it, but it's a not a, it's not a well option car. It's a manual car, it's got chips in the paint that need to be addressed. And you leave it as a driver the way it is. I mean, it's a 390 car, so it's, we're talking big money here. It's not your a typical everyday um, dollar car for your Mustang. It's not your 289. car too. Fastback. Yep. R code. Okay. But it's weird because they shipped it, it was made in Kansas City. It came from the Kansas City factory. Yep. And then it went to Michigan. Why wouldn't they just make it in Dearborn and pull we, one out of we Dearborn? Think because they didn't have something at Dearborn ready. Mm. So Kansas City had it and that's where they built it. And this was this was a, a before April 15th, is when they say that they're the first Cobra Jet, to April 15th, is what they say. Yeah, this is earlier the April than the 9th. Yeah. They only built a total of 895 Fords with the R code. I had a hardtop one of 22. I bought mm. out of Jersey about 20 years ago. The door tag's still on the door. Everything matches. The glass is still on this door. Wow. That's cool. That is the original door tag. Yep. Maybe a good candidate for somebody to do. Oh yeah. Let's get a little in there. Okay. I have a Michigan title for it. Okay. I what? can get the title, put my name. What's the asking on it? Eight thousand. Eight grand? Yeah. It's a rare car. Yeah. Arco Torino Fastback. Patina's beautiful. I got another dashboard in the trunk. Don't you agree? Just patina it and drive it the way it is. And do the interior. Yeah, do the interior. Seven one two five. It's all original under the hood. This car is unbelievable original. This came out of Alabama. Yes, Alabama. Good, thank you. People have bought this from owned it since '73. That's the other dash that got its flat. Bubbles here. It's got needs two front floor pants. They're rusty. Okay. What's the number on this? Eighty five hundred. So eighty five on this, eight on the other one. Yeah. Okay. This one's got this one's got a lot of potential. I'll show you the motor if I get we got pushed up in here pretty far. I'll probably have to get in front of you here. Yeah. It's a 302, 302, two barrel. I had the carburetor rebuilt. The fire's up. It will. I have a little problems with it. I'm not sure if it's the condenser or, but yeah, I've driven it down the gas station about a couple times. How long have you owned this car for? About a year and a half. Okay. Maybe two years. Yeah, this is a 68 style. This here's a Maverick 70. I did this, I owned this car 30 years ago. I, I cut the shock tires and put a 351 Cleveland in it. Four speed top loader, 35 spline axle. This car used to be brand new look, looking when I used to run it on the streets. I just bought it back in uh, North Carolina here about three months ago. You find your old cars and buy them back, I see. That's the hood. I, it was it was on an auction site, and the I saw a yellow. I see it. Cleveland's are wider. It's got a 408 Windsor in it now. 
But I put the four speed in it, the super shifter, bench seat. Somebody put the bar in it. Somebody put a fuel cell in it. This hood I don't like, but that's the hood I had on it, that one right there. This car was immaculate. Yeah. You sell this or no? Or just... I'd sell it. It runs. I haven't tuned it up, but these headers are all leaking from sitting. Uh, it's got 457 gears in it with a lightweight spool and all I put in it 30 years ago. Okay, number? Uh, 14. 14. 14K. Okay. Yeah. So 885 and 14 so far. All the metal work's been done. Back boss, which is cool. The hood's original of the car. I have the original doors and fend left front fender and the original deck lid. It's all on these trucks. He put new floor pans, new frame rails, new torque boxes, new quarter panels, new doors, new fenders, new radiator support, new top of the cow. It's all new. The original owner used to drive this car in the snow with chains. Uh, Look at the chain marks on the inner fender well where the I chains come it. off on both sides. Is that a Can you imagine cool? driving 430? He didn't know what it was. Crazy. That was, that's cool though. Yeah. Cool story. That's the a great story. This car also had a Boss 429. No way. You sit next to this one, the original. Yeah, it's a good deal. As long as the best friend ever sells it. Yep. If the best friend goes around and turns around and sells it right away, that would be wrong. But if he keeps it, then. Yeah. They like an old trailer. Does the job right? We got two of them. This one I love. It's three inch channel, so light. <laughs> what are they telling you about it? Let me show you the motor. I got the receipt for the motor. A lot of it's already done. Mm -hmm. The undercarriage is good. There's got to be interior. And it's a 69 heads, 69 intake. Mm -hmm. The motor's December 12th, 68. It's a real early boss, 69. Very desirable. You ever heard of a tunnel port 302? I need to call Matt and talk to him. He would probably know what this is. Yeah, for sure. It might be a tunnel port 302 block, but it's got the steel crank in it. It's had two sleeves put in it, one and eight. It's all on the receipt. He knows He, he knows his, these cars. Uh, it's it's just real boss motor, the numbers and everything. It's a C8 FE block. Hmm. First, first. That's real stage, early. Real early. Yeah. Uh, the valve covers are correct for '69. It's got the stud girdle set on, roller rockers. It's got a 600 lift cam. I got a dyno sheet, 402 horsepower at 6600 RPMs. Hmm. 15 to 20 alone. Okay. I got the correct transmission with the serial number on the top of it, the top loader that came in this new. Mm -hmm. Um, people are telling me if I'm going to sell sell the motor separate than the car, you'll get big money. These things are going for like twenty five, like it is thirty thousand dollars with no motor for transmission. But I'd like to keep everything together, you know. Sure. I got a brand new rear spoiler for it. He's got the original spoiler for it. I don't have the steel wheel. I got four magnums. Um. I mean, they may be right. You may be better off to sell the engine by itself. You'll make more money that way. One real, I have a friend who has 17 Boss 302s. Yeah. You ever heard of Rick Barker? Mm -mm. Matt has. Uh, people are saying that those motors are worth a lot more than a 70. Because they didn't make, they only it's made early, like it's a couple early. thousand 69s where they made 7,000 70s. And... He said you can trade that for a running seventy motor, and they'll give you like five, eight thousand dollars. You know. All right, guys, just closed the deal for this 1971 Cyclone. This car is mostly original. The guy I got it from bought it from the original owner. I got all the paperwork from the dealership when they bought it, brand new. I got all the invoice, factory AC car. It's a pretty, pretty nice car. 351 under the hood. 
The paint looks good. We're gonna change these wheels, put the original wheels back on, which we do have. Looks like uh, this door's sticking, but AC car, factory AC. So we'll get us back to shop, go through it, then get it up for sale. Pretty, pretty nice car. Undercarriage is spotless. There's no rot, no rust. And then we bought this. I can't pass on any Mustang, especially a 390 big block. This one's driver quality, but it is a four speed factory bench seat. These 390s are getting harder and harder to buy. So we put a deal for both of them. We looked at a bunch of cars today. I would say definitely it was a successful day. If you like this episode of Chasing Classics, do me a favor, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see all of our classic cars as we buy them and as we sell them. Appreciate you guys checking us out. We will talk to you later. God bless the USA. God bless you. Talk to you guys later.